Thank you so much for joining me for Real Change. Real change for us can only come as we work to create the new Jamaica we've been talking about. Because this land is our land. The only ones who are going to create what we want, it is we ourselves by committing to work together committing to operate by the principles of love, being our brother's keeper, and having a clear vision of where we want to go, a commitment to new paradigms, a commitment to change from the negative activity and behavior to re-examine where we fell off the track, correct the mistakes of yesterday, and carefully plan for our tomorrows. We can do it. Let us therefore commit ourselves to the process. We continue to give thanks to God for his goodness and mercy, having spared us from what could have been widespread devastation across our nation. But as we have looked to him in faith, he has heard the cry and we acted in the manner that we could see the mercies of God. But as we said last week, let us not take it for granted. What happens in nature is a result of what we do. We are partakers because the law of sowing and reaping works cause and effect is the reality of how the universe is set. And if we do what is right, sow the right seeds, we will get the right outcomes. So certainly, let's give thanks to God indeed. We must remember those on the southern end of our nation, Clarendon, um, St. Elizabeth, and in Westmoreland, and they have had damage done to them and suffer significant loss in many cases, we need to remember them. And what a tremendous opportunity for us now to, in the spirit of to brotherhood, to come together and to rally around those who are hurting, who have suffered loss, and offer the kind of help that we need to give. I certainly want to congratulate Mr. Leachin of NCB with an offer for that he has made first I must congratulate him and acknowledging and recognizing the hand of God who has speared us from widespread damage so that we have to say thanks be to God because what it cost our economy the pressures on it etc but they have offered to match $300 million to at least raise $300 million and to match it with matching funds. We encourage those of you who can certainly give and support it because we must now come together as one people to stand together in the spirit of that new Jamaica, uniting ourselves to care for one another, to be our brother's keeper, and let us get out there now and support those in that section of the island. We have had some reports from our own relationships and contacts and wanting to see how are we going to engage to help. We want to encourage the Christian community, we know that a lot are happening, but come on, do more, do the best that we can, and I'm sure we'll be hearing how we can centralize some of that activity for maximum benefit and ease of the ability to be able to support where the greatest needs exist. I must also certainly want to thank the, the government workers who have done tremendously that in such a short time to clear the roadways and, you know, to see restoration. And of course, JPS, they are working assiduously and all of that excellent coordination of the activities. And so certainly our appreciation to the government. I see the Prime Minister is out there trying to assess. All of that is good. The time has come, Jamaica. We must unite. It cannot be we divided half and half. Half of us can't fix Jamaica. It is a season now where we must begin to see how in greater ways are we going to unite to create that new Jamaica divided 
we fall. It is united we stand. And we must now creatively talk around the issue of unity to build one Jamaica under God, a united Jamaica, a strong Jamaica, a Jamaica that can fulfill the hopes, dreams, and aspirations of all of our people where righteousness, truth, and justice will reign in our land. Let's work to that end. We want to certainly pray for those in the Western parishes and how they have suffered. So let's remember them. So many are hurting badly. Let's pray that help will come to them. And remember, not just pray help would come. Let's be part of that help by contributing. No matter how, how small amount you can give, it's a principle, and help them as you would want to be done to you had you been in the same situation. So Father, we thank you again for your amazing grace and mercies towards us as a nation, spearing our economy from devastation, from what could have been, but Lord, you are good. And Father, we particularly pray today for those in the parishes that are hardest hit Lord, may we work together to support them, to give to their aid so that, Lord, they can come through as quickly as is possible. So, Father, bless them, provide for them now, and we are careful to give all praise and thanks to you in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. Come on, let's look out for one another. Let's be our brother's keeper. God bless you.